Hey folks, we've been watching rain near the valley all night long, but none in the valley. As we talked earlier today, it looked like there was going to be stuff getting close, and indeed it has gotten close just to the north of us, and there's kind of a little bit of instability kind of right down in through here. You see a couple of little showers popping up near McAllen right now, and that whole line of instability, and that's all it is, needs to move to the east and get offshore. Once that happens, then our chance of rain pretty much disappears, but we still have that slight chance for a shower too tonight as that progresses eastward. You can see to the north, up underneath there, some big-time thunderstorms earlier. Kingsville got hit with winds of 80 miles per hour plus and some large hail in Kingsville. But again, the southern edge of that right around Encino making its way toward the coast as we speak. And future track takes it on offshore tonight with no fanfare here. Again, we can't rule out a brief passing shower, a thunder shower in the next two or three hours. And then after that, it's over. Models say maybe something sneaks in tomorrow. We still have a dry forecast. I, I just don't see it. Atmosphere still very capped. Warm air in the upper atmosphere really putting a lid on things. And Saturday, it's warm air throughout the atmosphere. And Sunday, same kind of thing. And with that warm atmosphere, we're talking really, really, really warm temperatures here in the valley and throughout all of deep south Texas. Rain-wise, though, we see none. After tonight, that slight possibility tonight, about a 10 to 20 percent, and then after that, it's over with. Here are the current temperatures, still 93 in Rio Grande City, 83 in West Lagoon, Brownsville, 82 in Port Isabel at this hour. Overnight, we bottom out in the upper 70s and low 80s, but oh, let's look at tomorrow, shall we? 103, 108 across the mid and upper valley, 100 to 103 in the eastern part of the valley. The island about 89. If you're looking for the coolest place in town, that's it. Go to the beach, but even there, the dew point is higher, so it feels almost as warm as it does everywhere else, even though the temperature's down just a little bit. And look at the next three days. The normal high for the early to middle part of June is 94. We're going 103, 103, 104, and the records are over here. Probably going to break records the next few days. The big ridge in the upper atmosphere that's really going to kind of spread over Texas and push the rain out of here is what's going to make it just really, really hot. Now, you don't see the ridge at the surface. It's an upper level system sitting back here, but it's going to kind of dig into Texas, stop that front from coming through, push it away, and then we're just hot and dry. And then eventually, by maybe Monday, that next front works its way down and could trigger some showers for the early part of the next week. So your first more five AccuWeather the forecast for tonight. Very spotty shower thunderstorm. I think it's pretty much done, but the eastern part of the valley will just keep an eye on it. Nothing severe, though, it looks like now. Then tomorrow, hot and humid. 103, it's going to feel like closer to 110. And it's going to be that way all the way into and through the weekend. Now, Monday, we bring it back down a notch. So that ridge kind of shrinks a little bit. And then next week, as the front gets close, it may not go through, but it's it close enough to trigger some showers and thunderstorms for Tuesday and probably Wednesday. That's your updated First Warn 5 forecast. It has been a big night for baseball up in Round Rock. And who else is there but our own Joel Villanueva? Joel, how'd it go?